When it comes to technology, Elon Musk is unstoppable. Hear it out from the latest work he has been into, the Starlink Internet. Wait, does that mean we will get a faster internet speed? Does a much faster user interface with the internet? First of all, because it is Elon Musk's network, its quality and background are high on the technology side, and a lot more. Are you excited about this one? You'd better be, because what Musk has done here will affect all of us. Welcome to Tech United, a place where we bring tech and people closer together. Excited enough? What are you waiting for? Subscribe, like, share, and click on the notification bell to get the latest news and updates on Tesla, Apple, SpaceX, and more. In today's video, let us look into the speed and other variables that make Tesla's Starlink better than the current broadband and assess whether the world will be shifting from the current broadband to the newer one. If you are someone having trouble with the underground cables for fast internet, you might have a better alternative. All across the globe, we have heard the new capturing power of Elon Musk's Starlink as it continues to launch its service in new countries, on the other side of which Viasat plans to acquire Inmarsat. Well, the recent news, which is why we are making this video, is likely to blow your mind. So, there are some new updates you need to know before we get started with evaluating Starlink and the future. Apparently, Starlink has Australia outperformed both satellite and fixed-line median broadband speeds in most countries. Even though the latency is noticeably higher, we are likely to see mass adoption of this network even sooner than expected. Another major good news that we have is, for $99 per month, Elon Musk is ready to give out Starlink in the Philippines starting from 2022. The archipelago state will now have the opportunity to get service from Starlink, where the customers are seeking to buy the starter kit for $499. The agenda of this project is to use Starlink in order to transform the world by providing as about 12,000 satellites could provide initially. On 5th January 2022, Elon Musk's SpaceX launched 49 more satellites into orbit, which currently has a number of 1,800 satellites revolving to bring the number of Starlink's constellation to the given number. A SpaceX spokesperson said, With every launch, we expand our network as well as our ability to serve communities in remote locations. Let's talk about Starlink's evolution from 2020 to the current state. In 2020, the promises that the company made stood Starlink running with the speed of 50 and 150 megabits per second in North America. Later, in February 2021, Starlink was able to double its speed, as claimed by Musk, that it could run with a speed of 300 megabits per second. Reports from Australia came in, which suggested that, as of December 2021, Starlink was running with speed up to 200 megabits per second while driving a car. This was tested by some of the beta testers in Australia. Well, it was from 2020 that Starlink started to beta test its speed in the United States, and later the testing expanded to cover Canada, the United Kingdom, and 20 other countries. Broadly speaking, the company, by the end of 2022, aims to launch their services across 45 countries. However, there are approvals pending yet. As of the current date, there has been no name of any local partner which Starlink has partnered up for its establishment. The update from November 2021 by local media suggests that SpaceX is planning to take two Philippine-based telcos to serve the local market. These are Trans-Pacific Broadband Group International Inc., which is a satellite broadband service provider, and the other one is Converge ICT Solutions, which is a fiber-optic broadband operator. Do you know why Musk is looking forward to launching in the Asian countries? Now, there's the thing, the internet speed in Asian countries is upgrading every single day. Currently, the Asian market is the largest one that any company should take into consideration as it is constantly improving and increasing. The market for the internet has greatly improved in urban areas and, using broadband fiber to the home technology, the region is expanding itself to take in more rural areas into its internet shelter. The lacuna here is that the rural or the areas with remote regions and connectivity often suffer from notoriously slow speeds, bad customer service, and poor connectivity. As per the present data on internet penetration by the Digital 2021 Philippine Report, the percentile stands at 
which leaves a considerable portion of its 110 million inhabitants without any access to the internet or any online services. And if Starlink can provide the market with sufficient need as to what the areas need, it will have a humongous opportunity. It would be beneficial if the competitors understand that the archipelago state is made up of 7,640 islands, and both Starlink and its competing platforms are not meant to compete with fiber, leaving it to provide an unprecedented high-speed on-the-fly web access for remote parts of the states. And that brings us to the Philippines, which is currently ranked at the 72nd position for mobile internet speed and is the 64th country in the world according to the speed test Globe Index in terms of fixed broadband. What do you think? Expanding in the Asian countries would be beneficial? Comment below! The number of satellites serving an area, the number of users, and the user's location are all factors that influence performance. If the user is in a moving vehicle, the user's speed may be affected as well. Starlink intends to provide internet access not only to rural areas, but also to ships and aeroplanes. The company is creating new terminals for these, some of which will have radiation hazard alerts and will require professional installation. In the second quarter, Starlink did quite amaze us in the second quarter with its increased speed and reach. However, the quarter 3 data of the company is holding up a bit. It is also true that Starlink's performance varies from country to country. There has been about a 100 megabits per second range performance between the country with the fastest median download speed and the country with the lowest. When comparing Q3 2021 to Q2 2021, consumers in the United States who use satellite service to connect to the internet will find that performance was basically flat. The median download speed of Starlink dropped from 97.23 megabits per second in Q2 2021 to 87.25 megabits per second in Q3 2021, which could be due to the company's increased client base. HughesNet came in second at 19.30 megabits per second, which was similar to the 19.73 megabits per second we saw in Q2 2021, and Viasat came in third at 18.75 megabits per second, which was similar to the 18.13 megabits per second we saw in Q2 2021. In Q2 2021, the median download speed for all fixed broadband providers in the United States was 115.22 megabits per second, compared to 119.84 megabits per second in Q3 2021. Evaluating Starlink's current performance chart, the company is gradually making its mark. Well, it radically outperformed Viasat in its quarter 3 update, making itself quite the attractive alternative to traditional fixed broadband on all levels of latency. During the third quarter of 2021, Ookla analyzed millions of satellite and fixed-line internet speed tests conducted by users in Australia and 11 other countries, including New Zealand, the United States, and the United Kingdom. Starlink is currently outperforming both satellite and fixed-line median broadband speeds in most nations, according to the business, albeit latency is still significantly higher. According to the Ookla analysis, Starlink's median download speed in Australia is 138.12 megabits per second, which is significantly faster than the fixed-line median speed of 51.17 megabits per second. During the quarter, Starlink's median upload speed was 22.63 megabits per second, which was faster than fixed broadband's 18.03 megabits per second. On the contrary, Starlink recorded a higher latency score, showcasing their response times for the services are slightly slower when compared to NBN. That was only for Australia. Starlink has shown some amazing changes in Belgium. During its quarter 3 update, Starlink's median download speed was 127.46 megabits per second, which is drastically higher than the traditional fixed broadbands, which run at 72.90 megabits per second. Coming to the next, Canada, we have a flat line here. In the second quarter, Starlink download speed exceeded the fixed broadband, however, in quarter 3 of 2021, the median download speed of Starlink decreased slightly to 84.55 megabits per second, while on the other hand, the fixed broadband was running at an increased speed of 90.67 megabits per second. Overall, Starlink internet speed is increasing mostly in the US. There is an incremental increase in other provinces as well, but the gravity of the same is slightly lower than in the US. Viasat is also giving a good competition. 
However, the chances of Starlink sustaining is pretty high, primarily because of the Elon Musk factor. To date, we have positive news on Starlink, pushing the company a little more towards becoming the future internet service provider. If you liked today's video on Starlink's speed test record, then you might want to watch our video on the left, Tesla's new upgraded bot, or you might like our new Tesla Phone Pi vs iPhone 13 Pro video on the right.